Good evening, everyone. Welcome to another installment of Mashiach Musings. Uh, welcome. I, I see we got a, a few new members uh, in the chat. Um, let's just keep it rolling. So we left off last week uh, discussing uh, the Rambam uh, talking about, uh, here we are again in the Mishnah Torah, Hilchus Malachim, uh, Perak Yud Aleph, a halacha vav, so it's chapter uh, 11, halacha stanza 6, whatever, um, talking about how a person could be, you know, Mashiach or or purport to be, claim to be, have all of the credentials, uh, but then once the person uh, passes away, if the person dies, they're not the Mashiach anymore. So, you know, we talked about that on the Jewish level. Um, we talked about uh, the Lubav Cherebi, we talked about La Havdil, who was, right, the best of the best and, and who brought us close to Mashiach, no question. And then some other people that kind of, you know, <laughs> kind of veered off course, Shabtai Tzvi, the false Messiah, right, La Havdil, uh, and then La Havdil, La Havdil, um, Yeshua Hanotri, as the Rambam says. Af Yeshua Hanotri. So this is Vav, six. Shedi Mashiach Mashiach, who claimed or purported to be the Messiah, Vinerag Bebezdin, and he's killed in the Jewish court. Again, not so clear. Do we really want to say he's killed? This is a Rambam talking a thousand years ago, right? I, you know, was it Pontius Pilate? Was it really, you know, was it was it the rabbis? Right? I think histor- historically they say maybe it was Pontius Pilate and it wasn't Bebezdin. <laughs> you know, whatever. It gets more complicated both theologically and uh, from a... Um, just the perspective of uh, our the way that we relate uh, to each other, from Jews to Christians. Uh, but clearly, the Jewish, the rabbis, the rabbinate uh, weren't happy with uh, with Jesus of Nazareth. He definitely stirred up trouble. He was, um, you know, among the rabbis. He was trained and taught uh, as a rabbi in the time of the Mishnah of the Tanoim, uh, but definitely went off the rails. Um, and, you know, even if even though he didn't, he might not have claimed he was the Messiah, right? And others maybe claimed, well, he might have claimed he was the Messiah or he was bringing it, he was ushering it. Uh, but he definitely, he didn't claim they talk about him being a god. And that came later, the Gospels, etc. Either way, he, he he died. Okay, we know we know that happened. We know the story. We know what it looks like, right? Even to this day, right? What he looks like. I'm not going to do uh, my impression. Kfarnit Nabi Bo Daniel. Daniel, Daniel, the book of Daniel had a prophecy about this. And the, based on the Pasuk, Bnei Paritse Amcha, Yinas Ulaha Amid Chazon Venichshalu. And also the children of the violent among your people will lift themselves up to establish the vision, but they shall stumble. So they're going to get themselves up, right? Again, we know it was, it was a group of Jews uh, who were trying to reform Judaism in a certain kind of way and bring it into a different space, um, you know, not necessarily following the, the, the rabbinic and, you know, the, the, the temple mandates, etc. But v'nichshalu, they, they were a stumbling block, or they stumbled, right? They tried to get up and they stumbled. V'chiyesh, and he calls them b'nei paritze, right? Violent people or people who are, you know, um, who, who breach protocol. V'chiyesh michshol gadol mizez, there's something, a greater stumbling block than this. Shekol neviyim dibru Mashiach. Goel Yisrael Moshiam, that all of the prophets spoke of the Messiah, the Goel, the Redeemer of Israel, the Savior, the Gatherer, the Ingatherer of the Exiles, the Strengthener of the Commandments, Mechazik Mitzvatan, right? That that's the Mashiach. The Mashiach is going to bring us all back, going to be Mechazik us in Torah and Mitzvos. Vizeh Goram Abed Yisrael Bacherev, and this one caused Jews, countless Jews, to, to be murdered by the sword, right? There's a famous book called, I think it's called Constantine's Sword, uh, basically talking about all of the different um, situations, way too many, unfortunately, a really thick book where Jews are killed um, for by Christians, for our beliefs, because of Christian theology at the time and, and so on. You know, and that that lives on. That's you know, it definitely the roots of modern anti-Semitism come from there. So, 
You're talking about so many. And this was a thousand years ago that he's talking, the Rambam. Imagine, right, how much more so now. And he's saying, what a terrible thing that happened. So many Jews killed by the sword. And, you know, we're spread out and we're, we're scattered uh, throughout the world. And we've been, uh, you know, humbled. And to literally change the Torah, right? There's, you know, according to them, the Old Testament, right? That's done. That's out with the old, in with the new. The New Testament, to literally change the Torah. And say, no, you don't have to keep mitzvot anymore. You don't have to, there's no, there's no, you don't have to keep the laws of Shabbos the way we keep them. You don't have to do circumcision. You don't have to do the laws of kashras, so on and so forth. And to uh, cause, to mislead um, the majority of the world to serve a God that's not God. All this really interesting, very loaded uh, terms here. Uh, is it a God that's not God, right? Is you know, is Christianity considered idolatry? So the, the halacha, as, as we understand it for the most part, is that, you know, it's called shutfut. It's called a partnership, having a, uh, believing in a partnership of God, right? The Father, the Son, the Holy Ghost, right? So, but is the Father God as we know him? Yeah, the Father is God. But to worship a man, right? For a Jew, we definitely can't do that. For a non-Jew, is a non-Jew, right? For sure, that's idolatry for us. But is it idolatry for a non-Jew? It seems... Lechorah, probably it's not, right? It's a, it's a famous machlokas between Tosfot and the Rambam uh, as far as uh, whether it, it absolutely applies as, uh, as idolatry, as, uh, as a bodhizara. Either way, um, clearly there, there's a lot of fallout uh, from Jesus of Nazareth. He is definitely uh, not a fan, <laughs> the Rambam, of, uh, of Jesus. However, He's He says in seven, Zion, but the thoughts of God we, we can't really understand. Because for our thoughts are in his thoughts, our ways are in his ways. Ah, and don't forget here we have Jesus of Nazareth. Don't forget the Yishmaeli Sha'amar Achrav. Who's the Yishmaeli, right? The, uh, the Arab that came after him, Muhammad. Why did they come? Are, is it really so bad that they came, you know, and they started Christianity and then they started Islam? Enan ela liyasher derech la melech mashiach, says the Rambam. Beautiful, optimistic, you know, manner. But again, he's not, this is the Rambam. He's a rationalist. This is not like touchy-feely stuff. It only came... To, to clear the path for the Melech HaMashiach, for the ultimate Mashiach, the ultimate redemption for the Mashiach, Melech HaMashiach we're waiting for. And to repair the world uh, and really prepare the world to serve God together. All of us together. Because as it says um, in Spanya, for then I will turn to the peoples a pure language that they may all call upon the name of God to serve him with one consent, right? With one voice, safa a clear language. What's the clear language? It's a clear language of God. Says the Rambam, what do you think, I'm crazy? I'll tell you how. In eight, v'achet, ketzad, kvarnit malea olam kulo, medivri mashiach. People have heard about the Messiah. They've heard about you know, all of these different things that are that are sacred to us, to our to all the, the three Abrahamic faiths. Umidivrei Hatorum Divrei Mitzvos and Torah and Mitzvot, Upashtu Dvarim Elu Biim Rchokim. And these words, these concepts, these ideas, these values, these morals, these teachings, they've 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 proliferated far and wide throughout the for the farthest corners of the earth, right? To the you know far islands. And by the way, right? America doesn't even exist yet. And we know America's founded as this Christian country, but very much rooted in our own Bible and biblical imagery and all sorts of things, right? The America, they you know, the early the early settlers and the 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 the, the, the founders of, of America, right? The uh, uh the father the founding fathers, like they believe this is the new Israel where I mean 
all the biblical names that you have uh, throughout the American landscape and countryside, there's a reason for it because it was important to them. Uba'amim rabim are lay lave. And these are these in nations that are that are totally are lay lave, that are uncircumcised hearts, right? Vehim no simenot nim bidvarim elu mitzvot tar. And yet they're, they're dealing in Torah. They're talking about Torah. They're talking about mitzvot. Now even more so, right? Guys like Pastor Hagee and the Christians United for Israel. I don't care what their end game is. What's happening now is that they, they're machshivas. They get it. They, they understand it. They, they believe that it's important. In my dealings with, with, with leaders in the Arabic world, uh, Muslim leaders, sheikhs, imams, they, you know, the ones that I've spoken to at least, right? They're machshiv. Torah and mitzvot, they understand it. It's important to them. How do you explain that? And they're not Jewish. Elu Omer Mitzvah, Elu Emes Hayu. They're saying that they, these are true. Kvar Batlu is fine, but they were, you know, they were, they're, they're now, they don't exist anymore. Velo Yu Nuhagot, Lidoro, they're not forever, but that doesn't matter to us. Velo Omer Mdvar Mnistar is Heshbam, and some say, no, there are contradictions. And Kubshutam, Kvar Bama Shech Vigilan is Tereyhem, right? And, and, you know, he basically says, you know, the, the Arabs are saying, yeah, no, these were the mitzvot, but, you know, we don't have to do them so much anymore. And, and, you know, many Christians are saying, no, 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 yeah, yeah, Mashiach came already, right? That was Jesus, right? And, 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 um, you know, we don't, we, all these things are very hidden and we don't really know. But who cares, says the Rambam. People are machshiv Torah. People are talking the language of Torah, the language of mitzvot, the language of the Mashiach, the language of redemption. The gift, the many gifts that the Jewish people gave to the world are, are just so numerous, too numerous to count. But we're living in a time where we're able to see, you know, rabbis and priests and imams and sheikhs and just sitting together and 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 talking and you know it's it's amazing uh, and it really does speak to uh, something really incredible about how God was was paving the path uh, towards the ultimate redemption um, through all of these different means that seem so circuitous and yet all have meaning uh, to bring us uh, all to the same place. Have a great night and a great weekend. Happy Thanksgiving. Shabbat Shalom and Shavuot Tov.